All right, with the assembly now consisting of the S beam underscore eight part and the plate underscore eight by two part, I'm now going to bring in another instance of the S beam dash eight part, and this time I'm going to uh, to constrain it to this green Lego plate, and instead of using the uh, automatic constraints, I'm going to physically go in and place them. So let's go in and grab ourselves another S-Beam 8 and now what we're going to do is I think this is new in, in the Creo version that is coming in with this secondary icon I think what it'll look like in the um, the Wildfire 5.0 is that you'll only have this ability to place the thing manually and you'll have the user defined and the automatic showing up here well, what I want to do is I want to go under the placement tab and instead of setting an automatic constraint the first one I'm going to do want to use is select directly the mate and what I want to mate is the top surface of the green Lego with the bottom surface of the Lego that I just brought in and the default over here in the placement is coincident which is what I want now I'm going to select new constraint and for the constraint type I'm going to select align and now I'm going to align this surface of the part that I've just brought in with this surface of the new of the part that's part of the already part of the assembly and again coincident is the offset that's been selected and now I'll come in here with a new constraint again I'm going to select for align I'm going to rotate my assembly here such that I can select this surface of the part that I'm finally wanting that I finally want to fully constrain because you can see up here under the status it's not fully constrained yet and with this surface of the part that's part of the assembly and now once I've done that the status switches to fully constrained you can see that this constraint system consists of a mate a line and a line they're shown over here and I can select done and those are my parts and of course I could come in and change the color of my S beam if I'm so inclined I can make this one purple a non Lego color alright so that's the second way of bringing in a part and fully constraining it with respect to the assembly